this is take 15 German for 15. Are you the object of his fetish? Here are three ways to know for sure. Hi, this is Hung Yi, and I'm from iloveinterraciallove.com. When you are in a relationship with someone from a different race or culture, it can be so romantic and exciting in the beginning. There are so many things that are new and unexplored. But there is a question that lurks in the corner of every interracial relationship that can keep you up at night, fearful, anxious, and full of doubt. And that question is, are you the object of his fetish? What a question. And who needs it? It's so bad for your skin. And your self-confidence, and your self-esteem, and everything else that is all about you. You, you want to be loved, adored, and respected for all the things you are, and not what it says on the census. There are three ways that you can look at your relationship and ask yourself, are you destined to be the object of a fetish in a trophy case or the one that he is going to cherish for life? Picture these three wise little monkeys sitting in a row. The first one says, see no evil. Look at his past record to see who he dated before you. Does he date only Asian women? Only black women? What about his friends? Do they all have a thing about women from different races too? And here's the thing to really look at. How many of these relationships lasted? Short-term relationships are generally fetish-based, and once the thrill is gone, the relationship is gone. Be sure your relationship is in for the long run by checking carefully his track record. Two, hear no evil. Use your ears, they're gorgeous. When you hear the words, I, me, she, Asian, what do you think? Do you hear the words we, our, us? Those are personally powerful words that reveal a personal perspective and their true values. So listen if the message is I love you because of who you are and not because you are so what you say on your passport. That's the message the words have to reveal. Conversation reveals all as Agatha Christie says. Three, speak no evil. Are you in this relationship with someone from a different race or culture and do you find yourself getting mixed messages? Trust your gut, discuss, and make sure that you exercise this powerful visualization before you speak to him so you have a focused and calm mind and you can speak totally confidently about this highly emotional topic. Take a few deep breaths and then say to yourself with confidence, I am a woman to be loved, adored, and respected. Think about the best possible outcome of this conversation with him. If you can see clearly this picture in your mind, it is far more likely to happen. Think about the worst thing that could happen and decide exactly what you would do if it did happen. You'd be surprised. You can walk away from it and you can deal with it. Understand that not taking the initiative to talk is going to be the worst thing you could possibly do in this relationship. If you don't, you will always feel insecure about him and the future of your relationship. Tell him you care for him. Tell him what you value about him. And then ask him what he values about you. Remember to listen carefully for those key words. Your self-assurance, your honesty, and your open heart will make him realize why he is with you and why you are the woman he wants to be with. This all comes down to honoring the person you truly are deep inside. If you have doubts about his feelings for you, take action now. And to know for sure if you are truly the object of his fetish or the woman that he cherishes. So. How you liking all this? I love. If you do, share it, like it, jump in the mix. Put your name, put your email in the box below. And sign up for all the goodies I have waiting for you at iloveinteraciallove.com. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the mix.